What's good? Back again, it's your boy Maurice. Maurice Williams, Shadow Creek Safety. Uh, we finna head out to LSU, meet the coaches, see the facility and all that. I don't like the way they use the whole set on CLC and they count right at the end. I'll wear my school 707, I guess. Somebody else that you know, don't have it, cause I seen it. I seen. I know a lot of people. That I've been around a lot of people who didn't have stars, who didn't have records, who didn't have an office, but they had the ability to have all of that. And I seen how hard they work and how hungry they was for it. So that motivated me. People like that, like I, know, I see that they, there's people like that out here that will come take it if you give it to them. So you can't slack. talk about it I don't brag about it my teammates at the school know I would never I don't never talk about the stars I got I don't ever talk about the offers like because I see it like I work out with these people every day I see them every day I know how hard they work it's not like sometimes you just don't get the exposure certain people get so I know like they putting that work in so why am I finna sit here in their face and boast about it when I know that they putting the same amount of work in as I am so I'm like I'm gonna stay humble and try to motivate my guys. I'm gonna be happy for them, everything. And shout out to my guys at the creek because they all been getting old this spring. I feel like everybody starting to wake up on them. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't really like being too cocky. But I don't like talking about it. I don't like feeding to it. Like I said, I don't like. I really don't just like. I'm not, I'm not that type of person. I don't want to rub it in your face. I don't want to. Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> bro, I always like a ninja, bro. Ooh, ah. You know how many plays it is, Theo? Or if it's like a real game? They won. Yes, they won. 
Every time. So, but they knew who he was before the game started. <laughs> Pick! Ooh. He caught it? No. I said that. I said that. Bro, it was 90 times. Lord, that mercy. He's fast. You're not catching him. You're not catching him. Show him around. Let's get it. He threw it to the ground. We need one though. Alright, fasten down, fasten down. Corey, fasten down, fasten down. Fasten down. Uh, I'm tired of sitting here, man. Uh, I just want to work on being a better leader, uh, inspire people. That's all I, I really want to do. I really want to like show people a different light of life because I know the world is really ugly right now. Like I was just telling you off camera, like I want to get into taking photos of nature, like because the world's so ugly right now. Like people, not a lot of people get to see the pretty side of the world. So I want to like just show people that there, there's another side of life. It's not just all this. The stuff that's going on with war, the COVID and presidents and all this and that and everything that's going on, people dying and all that. So I just want to sh show people that it's a different side of the world that you can see. And I want to inspire people to go chase that. You're going to kill again. It's working every time. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, dog, hey. Ready? Kill, kill. Kill on me. Kill on three. One, two, three. Kill. You got to have that mindset. Go kill something. Let's go, man. Let's go, honey. That's what everybody waiting on right here. Let's communicate. Let's communicate. Make sure everybody gets one. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. You, you got me? Yes, All right. Hey. Way to get flowing. Way to get flowing. Remember when you get back in that locker room, you're all on the same group. Yes, sir. All right. Go break it out. Yes, sir. Good Let's go. Y'all can, can go get this, uh, whatever it is. Um, guys, great work today. Um, I love the energy, guys. I love the energy. Guys, when we play with a ton of energy, guys, it translates to the field and, 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 and we get paid for real. Um, oh, yeah, man. Um, Maurice Williams Jr., man, that's my little cousin. Um, had a chance to coach him in youth football, man. And just the way he's doing it on the high school level right now, just to see it from, from an eight-year-old to a 16-year-old, man, it's amazing to see the upgrowth. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan now, you know what I mean? I went from coaching, staying on his butt, to watching him as a, a high school superstar right now. He's a five-star safety, man, this shit is incredible. So I'm just a kid in the candy start watching him play. So not only that's my little cousin, but as a coach, and as a fan, I'm just excited to see the upgrowth in the next couple years. A lot with Maurice Williams Jr. have, it was natural, you know what I mean? Natural instinct. His parents pushed him, his dad pushed him. I feel the little part that we did in Little League was a stepping stone. And just to teach him to work hard, you know? At, at, at a young age, he was one of the smallest ones. 
If you're looking at him now, he's bigger than Division One safeties. He's got them the same size as some NFL safety. So now it's just all about the work. And like I said, pushing him at a young age, it shows on the field what he's doing now, you know, as a sophomore season. I used to start with pit bulls, all that stuff. Started with pit bulls, mostly Frenchies. No, that's, that's where my love is starting to go now. That's my, my daughter's workstation right here. That's Mariah. Showing me a little area. Kind of see some stuff she's working on right now. Get some more light. Say, hey, Mariah. She's shy. <laughs> hey, for your brother. Got clothes on? Your mouth hurt? You don't really get a chance to play the game a lot. I know. Okay. What type of game is this? It's like a like a medieval game. It just came out like two months ago. Oh my god. I know I press circles. She has to show you this. It's just some of the stuff. The under armor stuff. Okay, of course some of the, the schools and stuff. This is pretty cool. I don't know if all you seen Arkansas had put them in the papers. Yeah, there's a whole own little article in there and everything. I'm always I I, I I I'm I'm more emotional than than he is. Uh uh I wear my emotions on my sleeve even when I play sports. So I'm always excited about stuff. Not that he's not excited, but he's just He's more laid back and he expect, he expect the, the best. He expect the world, you know what I'm saying, to be given to him because he know the work he's put in. Uh, it's just why, the reason I get so excited is because I know all the hard work that he's put in. And when I see it, you know, he's getting his flowers. Uh, it's just tremendous, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like, that's, that's, what, we, that's what we work so hard for. And now, you know, all your hard work wasn't in vain it's it's showing you know what i'm saying because you had to do stuff that your peers wasn't prepared to do you had to make the sacrifices that your peers wasn't uh ready to make so now you're in this position you know because you made the sacrifices you're continuing making the sacrifices uh to put yourself in a better position not in just football but in life itself so you know i just try to keep him as grounded as possible and I'm always be excited every time, you know, he gets something and he's he's nonchalant about stuff. But inside, I know he's he's just as excited as I am. But yeah, and if I'm not working out, if I got no workout, well, I pretty much ain't had no workout since spring ball started because the workouts be in it, I mean, starting around the same time the uh, spring practice ends. So that's pretty much my daily routine from how it's been going. But it says, let your faith be bigger than your fear. That's something that a lot of people can take use. I even, when I came in here, I kind of used that a lot. Some of it is at school, because the coaches get a lot of it. And some of it we just forgot to put in here. Some of it we didn't put in here yet. Like, do you really yeah. care about like the recruiting process, or it's just like you know it is what it is? You said what? Like, do you care about the recruiting process, oh, or yeah, it just yeah, like yeah, it yeah. just is what it is? To I you? care, I care, I care. But uh, I try not to stress too much on it. I try to just take it slow right now. I still got a lot of time, so I'm just filling out, see who I like, and uh, see who like me. That's all I really been doing. I'm trying not to make it, cause I know. I mean. I'm not even a junior year because you know when, when you're juniors, when they get to calling you and stuff, when they're able to talk to you. So they go get to call. I heard when, that's when it get like really hectic. So I'm trying to like just ease into it before it get crazy on my junior year. So that's pretty much how it's been going. Uh, this year I'm trying to just, I have my two years of uh, playing rover. Everybody see that I can hit and tackle. I'm trying to get some picks this year because I ain't really, I get like, I haven't really had a lot of picks this year because I've been down in the box. And we play like, all the teams we play like, throw the ball, I mean run the ball. It's only been like one team we played this year that actually threw the ball, and that was Bridgeland. And that was the game I got a pick. So it's kind of tough because our schedule is just full of powerhouse teams that want to run the ball. 
Ellos lo más te quiero en el daily. What's up, man? You sleep? You sleep? Yes, you were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Well, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, crazy how me and him, my, me and his relationship is. First of all, I had him when I was pretty young, 21 years old. Uh, and I kind of feel like in a way me and him grew up together. Uh, I learned a lot from him just as far as being a father and he's learned a lot from me. So uh, he still, you know, know the boundaries of being a son and being respectful towards, you know, his parents. But I definitely had him young. So our relationship is kind of like a father, brother relationship. You know, I like to try to be real with him about stuff that's going on in the world. I don't like to sugarcoat stuff with him, especially now that he's getting older. You know, I can go in more into detail of, you know, about stuff that's going on in the world and stuff that he's going to be dealing with going forward. So just, you know, I feel like I've done a good job with uh, raising him and, you know, I did my part and I'm still doing my part and I'm going to continue to do my part. And now he just got to continue doing his part to meet his goals, you know, and you know, we're going to keep pushing. <clears throat> yes, then. Mm. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how they act for real. They be like, they don't be knowing what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They move fast for them, so they don't really know. His sisters, though, they be like, oh, MJ, they'll say some stuff. Yeah. Now, but the brothers, sisters, they be like, they be running around trying to do yeah, their own yeah, thing. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. They be worried about their own. Just oh, like no. he is right now. This is probably what he be doing in the stand. <laughs> Playing the game. <laughs> You wanna put your gloves on? Nah. Here, hurry up. Look at me. I can't do yeah. it like that. <laughs> okay, so you do this. To do like the farmer did. One, two, three. One, two, three, slip. Go. Who I One, got? Two, yeah. One, two, slip up. Uh, one, two, three. Alright, He stopped. Look, he stopped. He stopped. You gotta walk. Keep moving, though, alright? Alright, one. Isaiah, back up. Ooh, excuse me. Isaiah, come put the gloves on real quick. Put the gloves on real quick, son. Come on. Just show me your one, two, three, real quick. No. Alright, It's about the growth, it's about the steps that we take to be who we know we can be. I was always just trying to represent my community, represent myself the right way. If I can't see what's in front of me, your focus should be where you're going, not where we come from. Because if you focus on your future and you take care of that, you're going to be able to turn around one day and bless more people than you could imagine. And all them habits we develop, that's the habits that's going to pay off for us in life. I don't even know. Uh, they just, I guess they still will. We'll tell them they they fans. Normally they'll be fans of the school that we're going to. So uh, you know them fans be on it, man. They be on it. They know everything. So they'll just. I really don't know how they find out or <laughs> how they know, but they'll just come up to me and start talking, and we'll have a start a conversation, and uh, you know. <sighs> what a tie. In New Orleans right now. Hit this rental. Drive out to Baton Rouge. It's gonna be a good day. They offered me about last weekend, I'll say. Uh, got on the phone with the coach, you know. Uh, we was chopping it up the week before. You know, I'll call him. I'll shoot him a text. But you know they can't text me back. So I'll shoot him a text, just let him know, checking in. And then um, finally called him one day, and then he, you know, you know how to go. We talked, top it up. He said they were highly interested in me, and they pulled the trigger. First thing, that's why I always say, going to a school, you don't want to go to a school and just go to the school, just to go to the school. Like, you want to actually 
Because you got to be there for four years. So you don't want to be somewhere that you don't want to be. Like, you got to make sure that the vibe is right. You got to make sure that the energy is right. Because if you, if you, if, you if, if, if it's not right, you'll go there and then you'll end up in the portal because you don't like it. So you got to make sure everything is genuine. You got to make sure everything is real. That's the first thing I look for when I come on these visits. Oh, God, trip. When I come on these visits and stuff. You got to take it sometimes. Ain't nothing given. Got to take it sometimes. That's how life is. Ain't person. Ain't person. You just got to take it. I already know. That's why I've been trying to lead. Lead them. There's a few plays that I was, that was like, the young kids, like they should have made, but I ain't really like, I ain't jump on them too much because I know that they knew. And then they, they not even really like supposed to be on. So, cause you know, Aiden hurt. So they got to come up and play corner because Aiden can't play right now because his wrist. Yeah, uh, it wasn't really easy to be honest. I had to grow, I had to grow it within myself to actually be a leader. Cause it's not, you can't just, you can't just jump out there and expect it to be a leader. You gotta first, you gotta earn your respect from the teammates. And for two, you gotta lead the right way. You gotta lead by example. You gotta show your teammates that you willing to work for them so they can be willing to work for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got, oh, that man right there next to you. <laughs> I forgot. Me? I'm from Houston. I thought you were <laughs> Nah. <laughs> oh, from LSU? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I am. I'm going to LSU today. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my dad was trying to make sure you knew they wouldn't all uh, buy him. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, coach? What's up, coach? Maurice. Good to see you. Good to see you too, coach. Coach Joe, man. Maurice. Nice to meet you. How you doing, man? Coach Joe, man. Live and in person. How you doing? Coach Charles. Good Maurice. to see you, man. Nice yeah, sir. You're here. Nice chance, buddy. Maurice. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. I know who you are. <laughs> coach Hill. So, oh, this is nice right here. Okay. Doubt is such a strange thing. I mean, it's, um, there'll be times where you succeed and times that you fail. So waste, wasting your time doubting whether you're going to be successful or not is pointless. It is. I mean, you just put one foot in front of the other. You control what you can't control. And then you see what the outcome is. Right? If you win, great. You're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey over again. If you lose, it sucks. But you're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey all over again anyway. I'm looking live, bro. What? This is more heavier than it looks, to be honest. That's crazy. That's wild. You want to get you one or what? Most definitely. I got to give me one. <laughs> Ain't no other way. Ain't no choice. Delpit yeah, from Peterson. Delpit. Yeah, Looking to add more. Delpit from Houston, too. Definitely. Yeah. So, is it true that you saw yesterday? Yeah. So, we're going to have a DB draft all the time. <laughs> Facts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I already got it started in here. <laughs> Ooh. All right, for real, I need that three. Uh-oh. Ooh, hold on. Check me out. How I look. Look real. Every what? man of the month. If I look real, the glasses make it look better. And the watch, oh, hold on, look hold professional. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Gotta put the sashes on. 
That boy look professional for real, boy. And I don't, honestly, I don't really think about the money I invested. I don't really think about it. Because, I mean, as a father, once you have a seed, yeah. anything they're involved in, you got to push them to be great. And the way I am with my kids is, if you're going to do something, I want you to do it all the way. I mean, put your all into it. And that's what we've been doing since we first realized that he had potential at playing uh, football, running track, whether it was baseball, whatever the case was, whatever he decided to do, I wanted to push him hard in it. Just, I just want him to be, I just want him to, when he, when we done with all this, when he graduate high school, I want him to be a young man. When he graduates college, I want him to be a full grown man, business minded, uh, smart, intelligent, know how to hold his own, know how to talk in front of people, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Way better, I want him to be a way better man than I ever was. That's just the ultimate goal for my kids. Not just him, but all my kids. Uh, I kind of see him, like he said, I kind of see him as like a brother-father relationship. You know, uh, I kind of compare us to like how Deshaun Jackson and his father had. How when they was young, he always used to be like, his dad was like always on him all the time. And he, hey, why you always on me so much? You feel like, you didn't feel like it came out of love, but now as you grow up and as you see that you start to, all the success that's coming from him, all the work that he put in, dang, without him, I wouldn't be this because he pushed me to be this. He motivated me. He woke me up in the mornings that I didn't want to get up. He told me, that he forced me to go to practice the days I didn't want to go to practice. So it's now it's, I'm starting to realize like, Without him, I really wouldn't be where I'm at. The, the pushing that he did and getting on me that he did, it all came out of love and not like hate. So uh, I'm finally glad. That, and he told me, I remember he told me back then, he was like, you gonna see when she grow up, you gonna see uh, why I'm pushing you so hard. You gonna see it, you gonna, you gonna thank me for this. And them words did pay off. Them words did come to life. It's one thing to get there, but it's another to stay there. You know what I mean? When you're at the top of the mountain now, you the you who everybody's trying to knock off or pass up. You know what I mean? You get to a place exactly. like this, they got somebody else like you coming in. Come on, man, ladies, man. You know how right. ladies it is. I'm an offensive player. Uh -huh. Jamal Adams can't, you know. Yeah, you know, he's a... I know you're about to say that dad yeah. is that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Patrick you, Peterson. that's why they say DBU. That boy love Patrick Peterson. <laughs> oh, listen. He be, he be around here sometimes. You know, some of you pull up uh, right here behind y'all. It's something like, one thing I love about uh, Coach Kelly is he's intentful, mm -hmm. purposeful, and so he wants everything to be detailed. And so mm -hmm. first quarter, start fast, second quarter, attention to detail, third quarter, effort and enthusiasm, fourth quarter, finish strong. So everything that we do is going to have a message behind it. Everything that we do, it lets you know what we do and how we do it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's never an issue of a thought process of what we're going to do. All the jerseys we won, some of them we're trying to get back, obviously. I like those. I'm fighting. These I like those these, too, right? The here. different things that pop up, the gear and stuff like that. Oh, that's hard. Uh, during the season, that'll be put out. They put the Michael Jackson. So when you when you <laughs> so when you Michael when you walk in, you'll notice like the gear that we'll wear that week. It'll be on it. Yeah. What's up, boss? Get rest. It has the iPad stands. It has the plug-ins. I mean, it's 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 everything that you need. Nah, this crazy. Never seen a locker room look like this. They said y'all had top-notch facility. 30 million or something to that extent. I don't know for sure. And so again, you know, like I told you, the key thing we do here, everything is purposeful, everything is intentional. <laughs> you got more messages right here. The number one I always say is very important that we want our, our young men to understand what our program stands on is treat women with respect. Mm. Like that's gonna Put be that key. Tell the truth, honor the brotherhood, like every, everything that's going to be messaged here is going to be put out, pushed out for what we do and how we do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. When you put your stuff on a loop, you throw it back in a bin, they wash it, and then you're going to see the lockers. So this is for the NFL players. Mm. So every NFL player has their, um, their locker. Yeah. So if they want to come here and work out, they still have the opportunity to do that. They got their own key code. Oh, that's hard. So that's, you know, that's important to us to be able to take care of them. One, because, you know, one thing you always see the message we have is forever LSU. Mm. So once you're a tiger, always a tiger, no mm -hmm. matter what. So you're always welcome back. This is my mouth, bro. That's all. <laughs>
Every day has a meaning. So we're not just waking up doing anything. Mental Monday, Attitude Tuesday, Grit Wednesday, Attention to Detail Thursday, Focus Friday, Successful. Sadly, I think the most important day is Assessment Sunday, because I think a lot of times we win and we don't understand that there's still something you can improve on. Mm -hmm. So Sunday is that day that we decompress and understand and watch film and drill it in like, even though we won by 50 or 30. Still like plays still that you had, that yeah. That will get you beat in some point mm -hmm. in the game. Because well, every game ain't gonna be a 50 nothing game. So. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, what's up? How are you, bro? Good. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet you, bro. Yes, sir. How you doing, bro? Good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nice. That's why y'all do the uh, camps and stuff. So this is the indoor. Yes, most of the time we we're, we're not gonna practice here that much because we play outside. So mm -hmm. only for lightning stuff like that. Obviously yeah. we're in Louisiana, y'all in Texas, y'all understand that. Uh, what camp gonna be? This yeah. will be the camp. So the big time, you know, as they move, they'll start some out here. As the weather get really hot, they start migrating in mm -hmm. here. We're gonna compete. Thanks. So. It's nice up here, I ain't gonna lie to you. The vibe feel cool, the vibe feel good up here. Everything, everything straight up here. What's going on in here? So oh, this is Pro Bowls, first round picks. Okay. Um, we start to run out of space. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He'll, yeah, he'll be, he'll be that soon. Uh, Marcus Spears is on TV. Uh, Booger McFarlane is on TV. I'll be here long. I see more maintenance and anything for you, hopefully. <laughs> um, it's a little clear now with some of my kids have got. Smell the good, apparently. So they got the uh, contrast, so the cold and hot tub. Yeah. Why this is vent? <laughs> all our kids have left, you know, for the weekend. Yeah. So. Well, they went back and home. We're expanding. Like this is going to expand. We're going to expand this. It's nice, boy. Everything in here, nice. Oh yeah, everything bigger and better. <laughs> so. We'll walk out, but stay in the art. Yeah, I to work as an intern with the Los Angeles Rams, so I was able to go and watch the Super Bowl. Mm. Uh, should be getting the Super Bowl ring in the mail soon. Oh, uh, wow. So they'll add that That's that wild. year. The last one was obviously Kevin Minter. Goal is to get on that wall now. Facts. All American. Facts. All SEC honors, so I mean. It's there. Derek Sting went on there twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clyde, Greedy Williams. Grand Delpit, Grand I see. Delpit. So you'll, you'll have that. Meet him. All right. All right. That's my wife, Diane. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Stacy I mean, Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. 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 So I guess, you know, we're going to give you, you need his own room. <laughs> this is what Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like Maurice. 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 Nice to meet you. Maurice. Nice to meet you. Um, all the products that you eat that are proteins are antibiotic free hormone. It, it's it's always something interesting, you mm. know what I mean? So if you want, I'll, I'll show you what we got here. The food's not out. We need Getting hungry, I'm starting. Yeah. Tradition is walking across the stage to recognize your dreams. You just got to stay, just stay doing what he's been doing. Staying motivated, staying hungry, uh, and don't let the hype uh, overcome your humbleness, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna get it's gonna get bigger, you know, you just a sophomore, it's gonna get bigger your junior season, it's gonna get bigger your senior season. So all the thing you do is go do what you do on Friday nights, continue doing what you're doing on Friday nights and enjoying everything else, being a kid, because uh, at the end of the day you still have to, you know, keep them grounded, keep and let them have fun uh, as well. So other than that, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited to see, you know, his future.